is Mega Man. Mm -hmm. I believe in Grand, oh, excuse me, Winter Semis, Kamehameha took it with a 3-0 over Abadango. I think so. Yeah, so yeah, we'll have to see how pretty strong. Let's see how this set goes down. Now that Abadango's got the momentum, can he change things around? Looks like he's on the way to do that, already getting 54%, and he's got the ledge control, but Kamehameha gives it up there. All right, already 79%, man. I'm telling you, Abadango just... So much momentum. Oh, and he's got the stock right there. Only 9% on himself. Abba looking clean, though. Mm -hmm. Thing is, uh, Kameme, again, has two sets to work with here. So yeah. this set is like pure data. Pure data for him. He could he could take it for sure. But if he doesn't, it's like, eh, like, let me, let me condition you. Right. It looks like he's still just trying to be able to get what he wants. There we go. I love the item play coming from Kamehameha. I mean, he's always been very proficient at that. Man, Mega Man's moving so fast in this game compared to what, we rem Seriously. what I remember in Smash 4. It's like, damn. <laughs> Definitely looks like a Mega Man game this time around. Okay, back, back door right here. Mm -hmm. I'm setting up the uh, Metal Blade. Oh, okay. Okay. You can. yeah, great spot dodge right there, avoiding the grab and just ended up being in the perfect spot to get the up tilt. Oh, okay. All right, I like that. Save yeah. this jump the entire time to keep up his movement. Yeah, faded back, avoiding that neutral air and just jumping over it to get back onto the stage safely. Mm -hmm. All right, both of them trade out. Maybe trying to make up this deficit right here. He's at 124. Oh, again, avoiding Abba's potential edge guard with that down tilt. Just jumping over it mm -hmm. out of the uh, up special. There it is again. Air dodging to the ledge. I mean, really great stuff from Kameme. His recoveries have been on point. Yeah. Like, not almost not once has he, like, actually recovered, like, just straight up to the ledge with up B. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Yep. Crazy. I, in general, too, uh, I think uh, he's doing an amazing job at the survivability, too, making sure Abadago doesn't get another stock lead. Mega Man at 174%. Oh, oh the neutral air! Oh! oh! Wow, Dang. I mean, I mean, sometimes you gotta just survive long enough so that you do yourself in. You yeah, know? 180 though, you're not gonna be able to survive that forward air, Abadango bringing it right back. That stock loss hardly even mattered to him. Yeah. Nice charge on the forward smash. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 30% already on Ab uh, excuse me, on Kamehameha. But it's still anyone's game, the way Kamehameha's been playing. If he keeps up the survivability he did the last time around, Definitely could go either way. Down throw. Back air. I like that downward angled thrown uh, metal blade to position himself in a way where he could grab it and um, just be at a good distance away from the ledge. Yeah, his ledge trapping with the metal blade That's especially crazy. is very impressive. Yeah, super and he's able to find follow-ups afterwards too, especially when he gets like the Z drop into like a fair or something like that. Very impressive. This is easily up tilt percentage right here. So Abba's definitely got to you know, play his cards right here. Oh, I love that, dude. Hadn't seen that one yet. Mm -hmm. So yeah. far, we'd seen the, the up B to jump, but this time it was up B to jump down B. Like, right, come yeah. On. Definitely oh. good. And mixing up his stuff. Oh, he almost had a read on that. Oh, and he had a read on that too, but oh. he didn't get the strong hit. Oh. Unfortunate for Kamehameha. Forward air. The next one might do it, especially by the ledge. Back air is also going to be a potent kill option right now. <gasps> Ooh. Wow, just barely avoids explosive flame, but Man. metal play in the back air. Ooh. Not enough to do it. Alright, such pressure right here. Dash attack's not enough. <gasps> Neutral air? Nope. 147% for Kameme. Abadongo there. Oh my god, I wow, almost thought it. He just it. cannot catch a break for on real. these for some reason. I don't know what's going on. Like, I know he's just dragging down until it finally doesn't get the last hit, but there we go. Back air. Finally able to take it for Abadongo. Way too close for comfort for either sure, of these two. Yeah. Abadongo taking that first game, and it was really, really close despite how strong of an opening Abadongo had. I mean, he took that first stock, only had 9% on himself, and Kamehameha brought that all the way back. Put himself in a position where he actually could have won the game. But again, this is all data for Kamehameha now, like... Uh, still got one set between him and Abadongo. Mm -hmm. Town and City is going to be the next scenery right here. I don't think I've seen Town and City once this, uh, That's this a, commentary, Buck. Good, good point. Good yeah. point. 
Okay, well, let's see what Hudson goes down. Throwing out the lemons, you know? Standard Mega Man stuff. Does it in all his games. Down throw back here. That's going to be a really easy confirm, I think, on... Uh, uh oh jump is gone right here. He's going to have to upbeat a ledge. Yep, he's gone. He, he's not making it back. Maybe? Oh, with the air dodge? I just thought maybe Abadango was going to be ready to hard punish. But yeah, I, it looked like he was ready to punish the vulnerability, but yeah. I guess he just didn't position himself quite where he wanted to. Oh, my God. All right, dude. Common is still living, though. <laughs> I don't even know how you how you how you know how to recover in so many different ways. Honestly. Yeah, that's crazy. He's barely done the same recovery twice, if any. But there we go. Gets another back here. Oh, oh, the ledge jump. Yeah, the ledge jump di kind of helped him out there. He's just able to go straight to the ledge and then uh, reversal the situation. All right, and they're back here cleaning that out right up. No time wasted. Kameme down to the second stock. Abadango down to the second stock. Mm-hmm. Metal blade okay. in hand. Oh man, just forced them to be stuck in shield, dropping that metal blade on him, and then yeah. got that grab. Really brilliant stuff coming out from Konami. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was very nice. But how does he get back to the stage though? Oh, wow. I th I'm surprised he didn't do the down tilt sooner, to be honest. Because it looked like he was right in range for it, but I guess he wasn't ready for it. Yeah, Abadango on the chase right now, trying to get a little bit more damage on these stocks. And the explosive flame chain, not quite. Nice! Beautiful <laughs> conversion, man. That, that metal blade converts into everything, and Abadango has, I mean, Kameme has been ready to react. I mean, in the last time I saw him drop the uh, metal blade by the ledge there, he caught him with a back air. That time, the metal yeah. blade popping him forward. Perfect spot to get that sweet spot uphill. Yep, very nice stuff. Kind of showing his proficiency with the character extends across all games here. Oh. All, oh. All, all two games that Mega Man's been <laughs> in. <laughs> he got the parry in, but I guess he wasn't ready for the multi-hit uh, afterwards with the Leaf Shield. Wasn't quite expecting that option. Oh, oh wow. Wow, okay. Okay, yeah. Uses a Crash Bomber to protect himself at the ledge and then blows it up and... He taunted too. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, I'm sick. Yo, Mega Man is sick, though. I just don't like fighting him. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, shout out to Kamehameha with the Team Ally shirt. Brings back memories, man. <laughs> For sure, man. It's been so long since then, too. All right. Here we go. One game apiece for these players. This is set number one of Grand Finals. Going back to Pokemon Stadium 2. And Kamehameha open up with a little bit of decent damage here. Mm -hmm. 26. Pressuring with the up air. Oh my god. 58% un completely unanswered from Abba. Yeah, definitely on top of Abadango right now. Oh, okay. I like that. He just uh, dashes back and uh, throws out the leaf shield. I don't think Abadango was ready for that. I think I was expecting... To try and pressure with the lift shield a little bit longer in front of him. Dude, I, I, I know he wants an up tilt right now. <laughs> He's gonna do it. Or a backer. You know, yeah, backer. You know, yeah like a I'm metal blade sure. backer. He's got a lot of options oh. to be able to kill. Oh, oh no, no double jump. Yep, alright. Has to force the upbeat of the ledge. No punish though. Yep, he's fine. Foot still comes in. Parry oh. into the grab. Alrighty. I like how he doesn't, even when the Metal Blade doesn't connect, he doesn't decide to like just go for the up tilt anyway, or yeah. like try to force the situation. He just th thinks to himself, okay, I still got the control, so I can try and just get this situation another time. That was so great. I mean, he hung out by the ledge, right? Feening like he was going to go for the ledge trump. Mm -hmm. But as, as soon as like Abadango got up, he just hit him with the back air. Yeah. That was really a smart fake out from Kamehameha. Mm -hmm. He might have been trying to hold in for like the, sh the ledge trump DI and yeah. then get back to the stage, but then he just, it ended up being a neutral get up anyway. Oh, excuse me, Kamehameha looking like not going to lose his stock anytime soon. Solely taking on the damage to Abadango as well. Okay, back throw here by the ledge. Is that going to do the trick? Yes, it is. Oh, okay. Okay. 
fading back with the with the lemons, you know. Very great way to stuff out or approaching aerials. Yeah, uh, just in general, it looks like Kamen is playing a Mega Man game, you know? He's facing the boss, Palutena, and yeah. he's making it very difficult to really get any damage tacked onto him. He's, you know, he's got that invisible health bar, trying to keep things survivability right now. Uh, Alright, so maybe only at 13% on the second stock. Basically, just using his projectiles to keep Abadango out of his face. Yeah, I think another thing is that Palutena is a pretty tall character, so yeah. even if he like jumps with the right. limits, it's yeah. still gonna be in it's range where like Palutena will hit him. So it's it's actually even a little bit worse for Palutena because if especially in the close quarter, he, the uh, jump neutral air is going to like have that added uh, knockback. Yeah. Ooh, okay, another back air. What's the option gonna be? I'll try to do a shield drop, or excuse me, a Z drop into like force smash. Not quite able to find anything. Common man, the patience just exuded off of him. Very, very nice so far. I mean, what has Abadango been able to do? Get like chick damage off of like trades and stuff like that? Right. Nothing too much of him controlling the match. Finally, up smash out of shield does it. Out of all the games we've seen so far, that's the first up smash Kamehameha has used, so. Really talented. Can we get a down smash though? I want to get a down smash on the roll read. Let's go, Kamehameha. If anyone's going to do it, it's going to be Kamehameha. He's sitting at 109% right here. Crash Bomber. Transfers over. Oh, God. Wow, I'm surprised that uh, Explosive Flame didn't hit. Yeah, the Crash Bomber actually defending himself too. And so he could air dodge to the stage just fine. Got the trade in. Okay. Just got some damage to the Leaf Shield. Very nice stuff. Yeah, Abadango's really having a hard time oh. trying to get anything started. Like... Most of the time, he's he's trying to figure out how to get in on Mega Man, and rather than trying to keep Mega Man away, if that makes sense. Yeah, Mega Man really forces your hand in that way with the, like how strong his projectile game is. It's pretty much all entirely projectiles, so he can really just stay at a distance the entire time. And not only that, but he has good tools like out of shield to fight you up close, and and great grab conversions as well. Mm -hmm. So it's it's a tough character, especially in this meta. Mega Man are really, really viable nowadays. Okay, there we go. The neutral air finally does it, but he was like 170%. That was pretty rough. Abadango's still going on with it, though. Man, he's just not getting lucky with those neutral airs. I don't know if he's just like fast falling them too early or something, but he's just not getting those last hits. Okay, oh, there we are. Wow. Alright, the forward throw and metal blade into the up tilt, and Kameme moving up 2 to 1. Just one game away from taking this enti entire tournament. Yep. So close. Yep, same characters. These guys gotta get ready for the tournament tomorrow, man. Like, almost, mid almost midnight here. <laughs> What's he doing? <laughs> wow, it starts off with a match with Auto Radical. Right, Abadango definitely not too happy about this deficit. He's going to do his best right here to bring it on back. At least give us a game five in this first set. 61% unanswered. Kameme uh, not yet found a real opening to start up his own game. Mm -hmm. we we playing Kid Icarus Uprising right now, man. Yeah. Mega Man games, you know, you, you had enough of those. Where's the sequel? Abadango's going to show us. Alright, gets the neutral get up though. Kinda of, kinda of looking like he's going to get his momentum back. Oh wow, throws out the dare to cover himself as well. Neutral air comes in. Oh, okay, forward smash point blank range. Oh. Alright, here comes the lemon party. Oh my god. Oh. Oh, yeah. Okay, the first time Abadango does, oh excuse me, Kamen May doesn't quite get a recovery down. I appreciate the mix-up, it just wasn't quite there. Yeah, he, he tried to air dodge upwards, but unfortunately he knew that forward tilt was going to hit him, so he drifted back and wasn't going to able to grab the ledge. Oh, Sour Spot comes in, doesn't get enough on that force smash. I think the, the, the win box actually pushed him out of the sweet spot range too. Man, do you see how fast Mega Man's short hops are? 
is nutty, crazy. Nutty. Yo, forward air is so strong now. That's actually a viable edge guard tool in Smash 4. I know a lot of Mega Man mains were complaining about like you know the utility of Flame Sword. It was mm -hmm. not very good. Yeah. Oh. Okay, not quite. Yeah, just uh, you know, fading back, looking like a Mega Man game again. Yeah, definitely. This is the the sound I want to hear, man. Pew, 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 pew. Yeah, just missing the the Mega Man stage and like Doctor Doctor Wily's yeah. uh, castle theme or something like that. <laughs> like, damn. You just see patient play coming from Kamen Man is very impressive. Be able to keep up this like mental resilience for so long. It's so easy as a like a zoner or a projectile character to just suddenly think like, oh, okay, I just want to hit him now. But, uh, you know, he's being proficient with that. Wow, he just stood there. Yeah. So confident in that and just continued into the stock conversion what a there. nasty sequence, bro. Like, he, he first got that Metal Blade into the grab, threw him off, and then finally got another conversion off the Metal Blade into the uh, forward, uh, up tilt, excuse me. 115% yeah. Kamehameha, one stock away from taking this whole tournament. Abadango trying to say otherwise. Gets a grab right here, really great frame track. Frame trap after the backer, excuse me. That's uh, gonna be it with the forward the, tilt. Try to do the same thing with like the double jump, the directional air dodge into it, but yeah, get caught All by right. the forward tilt. So we're in a final stock situation here for set number one of Grands. See if Abadango's able, gonna be able to pull this victory off. Mm -hmm. We'll have to see. Even if he does win this game, he has to win another yeah. game on top of that, and then a set on top of that. But I think Kamame, he's showing that his mental resilience is definitely there tonight. Gonna walk a home away. Both of these two are gonna walk home away with a little bit of cash too. So let's see. Whoa! Oh, okay, come here, man, please. Alrighty, I see you. Nice. All right, faded back. Hit him with that back air again. Great conversion off of the ledge for Abadango as well. Both players just trading blows right now. It's down yeah. to the wire for this set. Oh my God! Runs out right underneath him. Gets that back air. Very nice stuff. No ledge jump. Oh, this is a bad situation for Kameme. Oh, but Abadango drops the edge guard there. Another opportunity for Kameme to try and win the tournament here today on the pre-show. Throws out the forward smash. Oh, that was so dangerous. Just any type of hit. Just goes for the forward throw. Kameme looking like he's ready to take it home. Bring it all in the glory. That's so scary. There it is. Yeah. yeah, just waits for it. There we go. Finally gets the back air. Kameme. With the mental resilience, just closes it out there with a 3-1. Your winner of the Mango Kickoff. Woo! No resets whatsoever. Kamehameha.